Good day YouTube, I hope you're all well. In today's video, I will be going through a tier list system to see who the best team to manage in the English leagues. I will then do a ranking system on my own view or preference. There will also be a surprise team added, so keep watching so that you don't miss it. If you want to see more amazing content around Football Manager, then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss anything, click on the bell so that you get notified. Right, let's get FM in. Right, here is our tier list. We have Rich, which means the club's got a big balance or budget. Support, that's your fan base. So we're going to look at the potential max. Then you've got reputation of the club, whether if a player really wants to come to you or not. And then youth, which would be youth facilities or your youth coaching. So we start off in no particular order of rich support reputation youth. We're going to do it in club manner, but we do start off with Newcastle. The rich team, they have a balance of 217 million and a budget of 113 million, which is the biggest in the English leagues. Then we move on to Man City. No surprise that they've got some money. They have a balance of 130 million and a budget of 108 million. So if you spend your whole budget, means you're going to be left with hardly any money. No wrong, because the chairman will top you up. And all your sponsorships as well. Don't forget sponsorships each season will kick in and Man City's probably got loads of that. But Man City also have for reputation. They have the biggest at 9,050 and they also have outstanding youth facilities. So pretty much they are the all round club. So as a manager, you go in there and you're expected to go in there, win trophies with a world-class team, world-class reputation, world-class youth for support. Yeah, it's up there, but they don't need support. They got the owners for that. And then Tottenham Hotspur or Spurs, whichever way you want to call it. They've got money, believe it or not. £350 million in their bank account. It's the biggest in the English leagues, but they only have £13 million to spend of it on transfers because I believe their chairman likes to rely on their youth. They again have outstanding youth facilities. So why spend money when you can bring through youth players and as they do, win no trophies? Maybe that would be a great save for you. Use their youth and win them some trophies for the way the chairman wants you to do. Be a hard challenge though. Or eventually maybe the game will allow you to have a bigger transfer budget for bigger support. So this means that they've got the max potential support in that in for English divisions, 120,000. So if they built a 120,000 stadium, it would probably sell out. That's going to generate a lot of match day income. And they also have some of the best youth coaches around. Their youth facilities are good, but their coaches are very good. Arsenal again, they have max potential support, 95,000. Hence why they built their stadium. Emirates, was it big enough? Could they have built it bigger? Any time will tell. Liverpool, again, max potential support, 85,000 they've got, but they've also got for reputation. Obviously, they've been very successful lately. That's why their reputation will be up there with Man City. And Chelsea, they're for Champions League holders. They obviously got a reputation, 8,750, only 100 behind Liverpool. But what Chelsea offers is that they have literally the best youth academy. They have youth facilities outstanding and youth coaches and we know with Abramovich they have the money. So now outside of the Premiership, so who within Championship League 1, League 2 or even below? So we start off with Bournemouth, they have the biggest balance of 34 million and Hull have the biggest budget of 4 million. Now it doesn't sound a lot but Hull's quite an established Championship team and then support down in League 1 we've got Sunderland, they've got potential support of up to 49,000. Nowhere near like support of 120,000 like Man United, but still for a League One team, that is pretty, pretty good. And they've got a big stadium. They've got, they've got the capacity, just like who I support, Sheffield Wednesday. They got max support of 45,000. Their stadium's 39,000. So if they've got the stadium, they just need to get there. They need a business plan. They need a business plan like Bournemouth and like Brentford. Uh, recently who got promoted to a premiership. Buy and sell, scout well, bring in for right players, manage your team. So reputation outside for Premier Division, Fulham and West Brom. To be fair, they're, they're bouncing between Championship and Premier Division, so that's no surprise there. And then just a bit of a outsider for nostalgia purposes, you've got the oldest club in the English divisions that you play. 
and that is Notts County. Bay was founded 1862, many, many years ago. So they're there for that reason. And then outside for Premier Division for youth, you've got Blackburn Rovers doing really well in the championship at the moment and Burton Albion with the outstanding new facilities. Outstanding. Could be if you really want to bring through youth and just if that's the way you want to manage in the FM, they, they could be really good ones to utilize. So let's now move on to the ranking of these teams uh, who I personally, this is my preference, who I would want to choose. So it's kind of like my who to manage in for English Division's league table, right? So in fourth place, we have Wrexham. Now they wasn't in our original tier list, but I've put them in there because they've got Hollywood owners, right? Wouldn't it be great if you could do the story of Hollywood to East, for road to Istanbul Champions League final or for road to Wembley FA Cup? You know, something like that would be quite a cool one to do. I mean, you've got Notts County, as I've said before, oldest club in English divisions. I've put Chelsea in here just due to the recent events with Abramovich selling up. You could go into pre-game editor, take out Abramovich, start the game and see what happens. Could be an interesting one. And then third place, probably a bit biased that I've got Shuffle Wednesday in there, but out for potential support and how big these clubs are just being down in League One. Why not get them back to for promised land? And then in second place, you've got Blackburn and Burton. Youth. We love in FM, we love building teams around youth. We love finding for new gens and we love taking a wonder kid and making him a superstar. Or you find a good youth player, you buy him for 50k, train him up when he turns 21, you sell him for 10 million big profit then you're building your main team around that income that you're bringing in and then number one no surprise and a lot of people are like oh that's boring but we did it when man city got money we did it when abramovich went to chelsea and we're gonna do it again with newcastle it's just the way it is i think newcastle is an interesting one because as you can see man city's established chelsea's established newcastle you want to go there and you want to build a core team but then you want to start working on your youth team and start building an academy like Man City and Chelsea have done. That's fun. But I know a lot of you probably have already done Newcastle. So why don't you try for others? Blackburn, Burton, Youth, Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday, Support, Chelsea, get rid of Abramovich, Wrexham, Road from Hollywood, and then Notts County for nostalgia status. Anyway, this is my opinion. Let me know if this has helped you to choose a team to manage in Football Manager. I will be looking to do other tier lists like this. Let me know what nation you want me to do next in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell. <laughs>